What's happening guys? Welcome back to the Ford Type Make You Loco channel. Today I want to talk about a couple common faults associated with the Ford electronic throttle body system. Yeah, it's this monstrosity right here. On one side we have a motor and a gear set controlling the throttle play electronically, and then we have a TP sensor over here checking position constantly with an inversely proportional TP sensor on this side. Now Ford introduced electronic throttle body system in the 04 F-150 new body style 543 valve engine. I actually have one right here. I mean, it's the first year of the electronic throttle body for Ford. And it actually, they're pretty darn reliable. The software is good, um, but they have an issue with the darn TP sensor. From 04 up until the newest vehicles that are out today, from Ford 18, 19, they're having problems with the TP sensor. So when you go to service these things, you want to put on the latest and greatest part. So today we have a good example of a vehicle that had a second generation TP sensor. They put on A1 Cardone electronic throttle body remanufactured and they actually went back to the first generation TP sensor and made it less reliable. So guess what? After a month or so, he's having the same exact faults as before. Now the most common codes associated with this electronic throttle body system is a P2106, 2107, P2110, P2111, uh, P2112, and the most common, the P2135, which means the A and B track inside of here are not uh, reading correctly, okay? Now, the way they did this, they made these two sensors inside of here inversely proportional. So one's going up in voltage and the other one's going down at the same exact time, the same rate, all that good stuff. So they make sure that nothing gets shorted out in the wires and it's a safe system, okay? So we're gonna show you all three generations of TP sensors so you make sure when you get a new TP sensor for your, your vehicle or a new throttle body, you're getting the latest part. Let's check it out. All right, let's take a look under the hood so I can show you exactly what to look for to make sure we're putting on the latest and greatest parts, thereby making your Ford more reliable, not less reliable. And that's the whole point of this channel, help you guys fix your Ford yourself. I'm gonna arm you with the information to do so. So anytime you have any problems with the TAC system and you're setting TAC error codes, electronic throttle body codes, the very first thing you want to do is check the air inlet system because any air that swirls past this mass airflow sensor will affect the TAC system. So just simply come over here. It's a quick visual. Make sure all your hooks are into the bottom of the air box. Make sure your air filter is not torn, all that good stuff. And then make sure all your clips on this side are good to go and the snorkel itself going over is not torn or any problems like that. Then you wanna do a good visual inspection of the electronic throttle body itself. Make sure nothing's obviously damaged on here. And then you're gonna do a really good visual of the connector and wiring for the TP sensor all the way back to the PCM. We're gonna make sure that's good. There's no chafe points, no mice damage, no corrosion. And then we're gonna take a look at the TP sensor. This one right here is Gen 1. This one is Gen 2, so you can see this one is more triangular shaped or A-shaped, whereas this one's pretty much square except for a rounded edge. Either one of these, you want to change it out for the latest and greatest Gen 3, Gen 4, boxy style. Look how thick and beefy this thing is, and it's a big, long triangle. It's huge, absolutely huge compared to the other ones. Look at that. I mean, it's huge. So what this guy did, uh, since he has an 08 Explorer, which already included the Gen 2 TP sensor, this is old throttle body right here, he actually went out and bought an A1 Cardon remanufactured throttle body, and they slapped on or reused a Gen 1 TP sensor. So now he's having the issue more frequently, thinking it's something else in the system, when in reality put on a much less reliable TP system than the one he already had, when he really should have put on this sucker right here. You can see how we're going backwards here. So that's why he finally brought it into me for proper diagnosis and repair. Actually, I can show you over here, like I said, this F-150 is the very first vehicle that Ford used an electronic throttle body system on. And this one right here has the original throttle body. Look at that, same A-shaped, triangular-shaped system. Whereas this right here, is a 2012 Mazda CX-9, slightly different uh, electronic throttle body, but that same sensor is integrated into it though. You can see a big boxy sensor. Now these ones, unfortunately, we can't 
uh, replace just the sensor. You got to replace the whole throttle body. But on these older ones, they use in the Ford trucks forever, Expeditions, all that good stuff, Explorers, they can be replaced. Okay, just the sensor by itself. And I have a video on how to get that out of there without breaking those two screws on there. But that's the difference. Gen 1, pointy A-shaped. Don't want it, definitely. And Gen 2 still had problems. You want this big old box on there. Okay, this huge box. And these generally are very, very, very reliable. That's all for now. I hope this guy's gave you a little, you know, background or insight into the electronic throttle body system, the generations that Ford went through to make them reliable. You want to put on the latest and greatest parts. I'll see you next time, guys.